Alright guys, so we just cashed out and we bought three of the most hype sneakers that are unreleased coming. Sneakers. Unreleased sneakers. And I'm capping so hard right now. We did not buy these, we just borrowed these. But let's go over here, we're gonna check them out. So it was pretty loud in there and I wanted to give you guys an actual really good HD 4K HDR 8K review of these three sneakers that are coming out. I think these are three of the most anticipated releases from now until December 29th. What's the last day of the year, 31st? What? You gotta be kidding me! This is the first time I've seen the box for this shoe. But yeah, we'll go through them one by one. And, yeah, you're uh, getting overexcited right now. I'm, 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 All I'm, over I'm the getting place. excited. I'm like a kid in the candy store. Shout out to the guy who let me bring these outside of the convention to show you guys and get a little review. His Instagram is right here. He gets a bunch of early stuff. I think he even does like raffles and things like that for these pairs. So these are not my personal pairs. I'm not taking these home. I'm not wearing them, but I will definitely be trying to get all of these when they come out. So let's start out with the- uh, 11. 11? You want to do the 11s? Yeah. Okay. The Jordan 11s that are coming out in December. I don't know the exact date, but if it's all... the one everyone wants, should we save the best for last? No, I think. I mean, it's obvious what it is. Okay. Uh, the price tag is not on here, so I don't know what the retail is, but I want to say it's like 220. 220. But yeah, retro Air Jordan 11. Top comes off. It's not the pullout box. Pullout game isn't strong for Jordan brand right now. Cool gray 11s, man. The 2021 pair, and uh, of course they did the high patent leather. You know, some people love it, but I think most of us have gotten used to. To it that's the og cut and they brought why am i wearing a mask there's literally no one around me all right definitely a classic jordan 11 he wore these when he was actually on the wizards uh, after he retired he came back and he played with the wizards and uh it's just a very cool get it cool gray but it's a cool version of the jordan 11 a classic colorway and it's got different materials got a little bit of like a new buck on the tongue here also new buck here on the upper area where typically it would be mesh that we've seen on the space jams the bread of course the patent leather that they have on most of the Jordan 11, sometimes they'll switch it up and they'll do like an animal print one. I've seen that recently, but yeah, this is the classic. What, what's your opinion on these, man? Cop or drop? Top, baby. Yeah? Top by far. All right, we're gonna save the Jordan one for last because obviously that's the most hyped Jordan one. But yo, this is a shoe that we have ha we have seen on the channel. We actually gave away a pair, but we haven't seen it with the full packaging, full unboxing experience because this packaging is crazy. Look at that, 360 clear, box the top is not clear obviously it's a cream color with the wing logo these were supposed to come out retails 250 bruh 250 dollars for a low top jordan 2 that's a little tax i would the most i would say is 220 bro well, low top it's gonna sell regardless it's gonna sell out so. regardless but i feel like Resell on this shoe is not going to be too crazy. I think it's going to be in the $300, $400 range. Because it's a range. Jordan 2. Because it's a Jordan 2 and because the retail is high. But yeah, the box is sick, honestly. Some would say that the box is their favorite part, in my opinion. I think it is a very good box, but I do like the shoe itself. But yeah, it's got the off-white holes in there. Let's open this bad boy up. And then we've got the off-white Air Jordan 2s. Definitely a controversial shoe. And the story behind it really makes the shoe... 10 times better. If you guys didn't know, the reason why they did this whole like vintage look with MJ signature and whatnot is basically they took out an old pair of Jordan 2s that Michael Jordan actually played in and they like scanned it, they remolded it, and they basically brought it back to life for everyone to wear. And whether you like the shoe or not, it's a dope display piece and it's a, it's a cool shoe. I'm definitely gonna be getting them, definitely gonna be rocking them. And then here's all the stuff it comes with. So each shoe comes with its own little Ziploc bag. I haven't seen that on any of the off-white shoes so far, so that's a cool little Hand. take out the tissue paper and take all this stuff out like literally like a display case low i think that's what they were going for is a way for people to display it as if it's like a gla actual glass case so think about this you put this on your shelf that's literally so dope like that's a dope ass display in itself so this is a cop for me bro i mean like i know you want these too right yeah yeah i just for me it's i need to i've had a pair of jordan twos in the past i have a pair of jordan you have the 2s. pair yeah we Thank both you. had the don i had the blue don C's. i had the cream don C's. you don't need to own a shoe in order to purchase a new version of that shoe like obviously we know jordan twos aren't popular obviously we know if this was not an off-white most likely we wouldn't go crazy for it but i think if it still was this style and it had that signature i would personally get it even if it wasn't off-white for me it's just the storytelling and the overall execution which i'm in love with brand finale i gotta give credit to jordan brand these days jordan brand and nike have definitely been half-assing quality control 
and craftsmanship. But I will say, say that one thing that they've been killing it on is their boxes. They haven't just been giving us the same generic Jordan brand boxes. They give pretty much every shoe its own like box. They've done it with some threes, some fours, most of the Jordan ones, but they did it again and it might look like a regular black and red Jordan box, but it's actually a glossy black and red Jordan box. That's because the shoe inside is a glossy shoe and that is the patent leather red Jordan one. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Yeah, they are super dope. They did it, they did the patent leather. I think I have shown you guys these before, but again, we did not show it to you with the box. So you know that this is an official, official pair. It is a collaboration with Vin Diesel and that's why it says family on the inside. That was, a, that was a joke. Uh, anyway, yeah, these Insert are just, I mean, silence here. so basically the red hang tag that it comes with, this is something that they did back in the day when they released three pairs of the patent leather Jordan ones back in the day when I was in high school, they did the UNCs, they did the black and gold and they did the Chicago's and they all came with the little hang tag. But this time they made a red hang tag. Originally these were supposed to come out in uh, Black Friday, but now they're literally coming out from what I hear the last week or even the last day of 2021. So they're definitely going out on a bang and I think this is gonna be it's definitely gonna be a hard shoe to get and it's gonna be a shoe that definitely has some resale value to it obviously if you want to get them early right now you're gonna be paying top dollar but mm -hmm. I have the satin breads which I love I think the satin breads are mm -hmm. 10 times better than these and obviously the hype beast inside of me loves them because they're way more limited but everyone's gonna want these man so many people who missed out on the breads a few years ago are gonna want these and uh, I know a lot of people don't really like patent leather Mina you love I love patent leather you love patent leather not the most comfortable but yeah. I just love how it stands out yeah that's the thing about me is the patent leather it, it kind of it there's no breathability for me on, on the side of my foot and I have a fat foot so it's not that comfortable but it looks really good that's it man three early pairs got to show them to you guys for the very first time here on the channel the bread cool grays and the off-white air jordan twos out of these three right here if you guys could get one shoe if somebody if a magic genie popped out from aladdin and said hey i can only give you one wish to have one of these shoes which one are you taking oh i'm weak so you gotta leave that in there on the city lights all this thought around me let me look i got it right don't you try to hit me now you live a petty life all right jacob what do you think of my thrifted tote from 96 i got it at urban outfitters oh it's from 1996 you would never right here. you could never i could never find something like this in the thrift you could he could never that's that, that exclusive dude that's that, that exclusive 96 everyone knows chicago bulls were making totes like this everyone, everyone knows everyone that everyone knows mitchell ness was a thing in 96 bro yeah. <laughs> yeah. those who know know yeah. those who this know this is new whoa. vintage right the of course tags. everyone knows the printed tags that's a sign of it being yeah, a vintage. Yeah. Vintage. vintage yeah yeah, yeah. so basically step your game up Listen yeah i'm trying to get i'm trying to get like you yeah. when it comes to vintage yeah. <laughs> everyone knows kais is like kais the go-to source this is all mine i guess these are called the uh the red lightnings because it's like a red version of the lightnings from back in the day pretty cool honestly black red and white aesthetic classic bulls colorway pretty cool it's crazy how oh wow i have cool grays this is a good dunk man this is a good dunk if you're wearing these for halloween you got the outfit of the party. Hidden detail. Look at that one. Oh, that's it. Yeah, this shoe has a lot of, this is like OG Nike Dunk. This is what they used to do back in the day where they really killed it with their collabs. They still do a lot of dope ones, but this was like next level. Mina got a exclusive, the thrift god blessed Mina with this. I had to bestow blessings when I can, man. Wow, that is so hard. Cute. If only we had that a few days ago when we were I at know, Disney. I know. That shit gotta go back, Playboy. Yeah. We definitely will. We definitely will. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up from Sneaker Games. It was a pretty cool event. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't too crazy. It was more chill vibes. We did not buy any sneakers, so that was another reason why I didn't really vlog too much is because, like, I didn't have, like, something that I was, like, cashing out on and whatnot. We are going to a local sneaker store tonight, though, and uh, there you got some... They got some shoes that I really want. So yeah, we're probably going to make that its own video where we go to the store because they have a pair of shoes. What about eat your vegetables? It's probably top five cringiest things we've done on this channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the camera don't want to film what's after that. I'm in the but I'm dying high. Now we're not